Hi you guys, CM40 here. Um, I do sell Polaroid cameras, so today's video is going to be about how these particular models, the SX70, so when I say if you open it up, in the top it will actually say SX70 or it will say 600 film depending on the camera model. Um, and these ones are particularly... Um, touchy in that they don't always go straight away. Now you would have seen a previous video where I give you the reasons why we should keep the film packs within the fridge and store them correctly. Well this is what I call one of my testing packs and as you can see it's got no film left but it still has battery life because within this actual canister happens to be the battery. So, if I put this into my camera, as you can see, nothing has happened, okay? Um, this do I don't keep it stored in the refrigerator because it is a used battery and I tend to just chuck it into a drawer. However, let me show you what happens if I use the one that I've kept in the fridge. Now, the reasons why... I keep this one in the fridge is because they are actually quite expensive to buy and as previously discussed in another film you must make sure that you do not freeze this but you do keep it to a certain temperature within a refrigerated area um, that means that it is at its best when you take it out okay big writing best stored refrigerated so even if you're not going to use it for six months stick it in your fridge forget about it till you need it it is the best practice to use on these films okay so the theory is i'm going to put in this one here which has been refrigerated so it is actually quite cold to the touch and that should fire this off You know, I love Polaroid cameras. They're so predictable. Um, and as you can see, the film has actually come out. It set it off. I'm not going to waste any more of that because I do use this pack for testing. But what I'm going to do now is put the old pack in that I do not keep in the fridge. And that should be enough to set it off now. Sometimes I just need... A reactivation from that battery there we go and as you can see that has worked all I'm trying to demonstrate to you is how temperamental these particular models can actually be and one of the biggest questions I get when I sell it either through my website or through eBay is I've put the film pack in nothing happened Okay, firstly, when you buy the film pack from the companies, they tend not to refrigerate them. They get them from the manufacturer, they get put in a cold place, but not a refrigerated place. It is down to you as the consumer to actually put that film pack into a refrigerated area. That way you've got the best at your film pack. OK, so normally if your camera does not go because you've just literally got your film pack, you've inserted your film pack, it's not doing anything. It just because your film pack isn't at its best to reactivate the actual mechanism and it does need to be at its best with a refrigerated film pack for it to actually work. As you can see now, because I've now reactivated it, it works seamlessly, okay? So that's one of the biggest things that I get. So people, please, when you buy your film packs, please look at the film pack, make sure that you've got no damage. On this box here, there would be a metal sort of filmy seal, a very thin sheet of um, film on there to stop that being opened. Um, if there's any problems with that box, that film pack invariably is not going to work. If you've got any holes and the air has got to your film pack, 
that starts the chain reaction off within these sheets. And these sheets are designed that until it comes out the front and goes through these rollers, it's not designed, it's not meant to reactivate straight away. It, so it's got to go through the rollers for this to properly mix. Okay, so if you've got any holes, that's not going to happen. And you might well get a picture that looks something similar to this. This is basically got to the air before the film pack has been used or it's been used once, left in a camera and the film has been continuously exposed to the air. OK, so they are not going to properly develop. So best results in the fridge. Keep it nice and refrigerated. If you use three and decide that actually I'm not going to use it again. Do you know what? Simply take it out of this box, out of the camera. You will lose a shot when you reinsert it. Put it back in your box and pop it back in the refrigerator. Okay. I hope that has um, helped you. Um, please leave any comments you need to leave down the bottom. If there's any questions, I will try and answer them. Thank you.